Well, hello, boys and girls. Are you ready for this week's art project? Okay. So um, what you're gonna need for today is you're gonna need scissors. You're gonna need a glue stick, possibly liquid glue. You'll have your choice, okay? Um, you may choose to use both. You're gonna need your cup that has your tissue paper in it. Everyone got different colors, okay? Um, my color happens to be yellow. Also, you're gonna need your butterfly pieces, okay? These will en end up being a butterfly. There should be two in um, your bag you received, okay? Okay, you don't need to worry about writing your name on your art project because this will not be turned in, okay? It is the end of the year and I'm getting your, your supplies ready to go home to you um, at the, the last week of school. So what you need first to do is you're gonna to need to pause the video um, and you're gonna to need to cut out your pieces, okay? But let me share with you before you pause your video that after your pieces are cut out, it's going to look like this, okay? But I want to share with you how I cut out the insides because that wasn't easy. It, it's not easy, is it? Because you don't wanna cut straight across. First, what I did is I took my scissors, I opened them and I used one side and I put my paper, uh, my butterfly down on the table and I pressed down on the, on the one end of the scissors and I pressed and I pulled up a little bit to create a hole, okay? That's my starting point. And then I could carefully cut out the center. And remember when you cut out, you wanna cut out a long um, or cut on the white line, okay? So remember to carefully cut these out, okay? You should be cutting out with very little assistance from anyone at home. This is a life skill that you need to be able to do all on your own, okay? If you were in class, you wouldn't be getting any help, okay? You would have to cut it out all on your own. So um, go ahead and pause the video now and cut out your two pieces. Okay, class, now that you've cut out your pieces, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to open up one of them, okay? You're not gonna, um, you may need your scissors, um, but you're gonna open up one of them. Leave the other one um, folded, okay? So I'm gonna put mine right there. So what you wanna do is you wanna take out your tissue paper and your tissue paper should have been, you should have four pieces, okay? You're gonna to want to put your tissue paper over um, the, the circle, okay, that you cut out for each area of your butterfly. It's okay if it goes over the edge because it probably is going to. We'll cut that off after we glue it, okay? So you wanna make sure that your pieces completely cover the circle, okay? Then you wanna put a little glue, okay? I'm gonna choose to use, I'm gonna choose to use stick glue for this part. We want to glue these pieces down, okay? I'm just going to put a, a couple, maybe four little marks, okay? And then I'm going to stick this back down, press it down, and leave it, okay? And I'm going to do that for each of my circle areas. Again, I'm not using a lot of glue, just enough to stick these down, okay? Eventually, they'll be glued down anyway, okay? Again, make sure they fully cover your circles that you cut out, okay? Okay, now for this next step, I think I'm gonna use liquid glue, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do, class, is you're gonna want to put liquid glue around the edges of your butterfly and you're gonna to wanna to line up this part onto the other part. You're gonna to wanna to line up your pieces, okay? Remember I said we'll cut after we finish gluing, okay? The excess um, parts that are sticking out, okay? So I'm gonna use my liquid glue. I'm choosing to use my liquid glue for this stage. And I'm just gonna put a little bit, honestly. 
around the edges of my butterfly. I don't want to, I don't want to use a lot because I don't want the glue oozing out over the sides of my butterfly. So I'm just putting around as you see there on the edges. Just as some of you have experienced, you probably all have glue can be messy. Okay, I think that's enough glue. And then I'm just gonna carefully line it up, okay? So again, if it was fold this way, I'm gonna lay it flat. And I'm gonna line up my edges. before I press it down. That's about right. And then I'm gonna start pressing down. Oh, careful. You just saw what happened there. <laughs> okay. You may want to let it dry before you cut off your parts for the sake of this video, I can't let it dry. So I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do and, and that I'm gonna cut it off. My pieces, and my pieces because they may have glue on it may stick to my scissors or not. And again, I'm just gonna cut off my excess pieces that are of the colored tissue that are sticking out. Okay, as best I can. Hopefully I'm not cutting a lot of the black off with it too. The butterfly. I might have to press it back down as I did. I had to Let's start coming up. You may have to add a little bit more glue if you see that it's needed. Now, if you could just tear it, you might just be able to tear the piece, the tissue that's sticking out. Okay. And like I said, you don't need a name on it because you're not going to turn it in. Instead, you're going to enjoy this project at home and then send me a picture so you can get credit for it. Okay. So remember, let it dry before you put it up at home. Okay. Send me a picture when you're all finished with this art project through your Class Dojo account.